your nails, don't put on makeup if you wanna have fun, yeah. If you know that you're ready to. Hey guys, this is Dwayne, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I'm going to be doing my current everyday makeup routine. So, this is me applying the primer right now. I'm applying the primer on my face. So, don't mind me, I was watching um, the TV, and guess what is on the TV? Power Rangers. <laughs> you couldn't guess, right? So, this is me applying my foundation. My HD foundation. This foundation is so thick. You can see, like it dries really fast. So I'm using my hand to apply it because for a smoother, um, smoother base, for a smoother result, sure. So yeah, even that small that I put was looking very much on my face. You can see that I did not apply around my eyes. Because I don't want that place to be cakey and break. So now I'm going to use um, my Beauty Blender sponge and then my brush to blend it out. I used both to blend it out. brush is more effective for me and I go in with my concealer to you know conceal color correct hide things put them on my nose under my eye jawline under my nose and on my chin and my forehead Still watching Power Rangers. <laughs> so normally I usually go for two um be two layers of concealer. So right now I'm putting my contour, my forehead my cheek under my cheekbones i don't actually have like that visible that much of a visible cheekbones and under my jaw <laughs> did i put under my jaw i think i did lay down and then my nose like around the concealer under my eyebrow there so i blended my contour out now i'm gonna i'm blending my concealer guys always trust the process i know it looks i know my makeup always looks funny but trust the process trust me guys now i'm using the brush to blend everything to blend the concealer and now we are applying blush a red blush it's very red or a pink it's kind of like a pinkish reddish color and then we blend it and i be applying another set of concealer but just for under my eyes only and little not that much by the way i'm set i'm putting setting spray in between the steps not all steps but in between like um when i want to blend so yeah we are blending the concealer and then you wait for the setting spray to dry before blending so you're not making your makeup break Still watching Power Rangers. 
now i am baking i'm supposed to put certain so the mistake i made with this makeup is that i'm supposed to put certain powder everywhere before baking which i did not i think i applied certain powder later later on after i baked twice i think i've learned the habit of baking twice the first one you 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 bake for a long time and you use as many powder the second one just use little powder and not for that long of the time <laughs> well it depends though if the first baking is in okay for you you can go with that one for me i want my under eyes to be very bright so i started i've done it like three to four times now baking twice okay this is not it what i'm talking about but i applied much powder on it i always make sure my baking always enters my nose so you can get a snatched look on my nose and now while we're waiting for the baking we always do this we're waiting for the baking you know for it to like bake <laughs> literally we're going to be doing our eyes so we're gonna go on with eyeshadow eyeliner mascara so right now i have lashes on so i'm not really doing la mascara but yeah so right now we're doing our eyeshadow we wanted to we just wanted to do it in subtle color because of an everyday look but we ended up doing a purple which i later like made less visible later on so it wasn't as bright now we're putting in my orange um blush so i applied two sets two blushes one under my concealer and under my baking which is red or pink and the other one still a little bit still under my baking sometimes on top but i think under is better so on top it doesn't break my baking you know yeah so this one is the orange under my baking so the first one is under my concealer the second one is under my baking my baking that sounds funny right <laughs> yes um blending okay we're now brushing off the excess powder so basically baking is all about putting powder and when it's done baking you remove you use your foam to brush off the excess powder so you don't really like yeah you get so it's like you shall get the logic now i'm putting pressed powder i'm still removing the big setting powder it's but you use certain powder to set or bake and used pressed powder for like other parts of your faces so i'm doing my lip liner i think i already did this pressed powder thing already so i'm doing my lip liner now obviously i always use black before i used to use brown i was still using black like this year 2023 and i love it i can make it um, really blackish i can make it less blackish you know and I'm doing this um, plumpy lips, how to get a fuller lips combo. Um, I wanted to do a video, Instagram, TikTok video about it, but I did it and did not realize I was not recording. So I will do it again. It's how to get fuller lips. So you basically put your lip liner, blah blah black or bar, anyone you want to use, both can work. And then you take a red lipstick, like not 24 hours lipstick, normal red lipstick, and you apply on the place you applied your lip liner your brown or black lip liner i pencil anyone you use and then you match together and make sure that it is fully rounded and then you add your lip gloss on you add your lip gloss on the parts there's no like there's no lip liner or red red lips like on the parts that is just your natural lips color that is where you add your lip gloss and then you match that back together and then you like yeah that is the look i'll do a video about it wait for it so now i'm going to be, now i'm doing my eyeliner i mean my eyeliner you know it's 
still watching Power Rangers. It's like throwing the know that she does not have time to edit video while she's watching Power Rangers. Ayana takes a lot of time. Now we're doing this diamond stuff that I did for my dinner, my departmental university, university departmental dinner night. I'm going to recreate the makeup look in another time. So Bas wanted to like incorporate an idea of it. So basically put those that, those stones, wine stones, are called wine stones on your makeup. And that day, the night, the night, I looked superb. I looked fabulous. I did my makeup myself, and people noticed. Like they didn't know that I did my makeup, but people still noticed my beauty. Even though I did it myself, like it was really cool. So was, my makeup did not break that day. I said I, I said I said I was gonna like my makeup that was not gonna break, and it actually did not break. So basically, you just put the um, eyelash glue. I have a black eyelash glue dots on the place you want to put the distance as a dot and then you take the rhinestones and you tap you use your hand to like put it on on the system and it will just stay once it touches the glue to stay so you have to like adjust it to get the perfect position and that is how you achieve the rhinestone look yes so now i'm putting my setting spray and i'm basically going to fan myself i'm done fanning and this is the final look guys Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.